Rabinator. This thing's a $10,000 one. It's got the massive engine in it. It's got all the force, uh, four wheel steering. Uh, got the big servos in there. And we got to fix it. In the last, last Livo, we took it apart. We had a broken shaft inside the transmission. Let me spin you round. A broken shaft is hard to transmission, but I didn't have one. So I've ordered some and now it's turned up. So in this video, we're going to put it all back together again and uh, have it like a good ruminator again. So we can take it out for another rip. This was just for the thumbnail, putting the wheels on there, wonky. A little bit of clickbait there to keep, keep you guys happy in the comments. There you go, look, ATCC Taylor engine. I've done a YouTube short with this. It got like 10 million views. And so many comments, no way, that wasn't $10,000, he's a liar. But, you know, I've done a breakdown video, if you add it all together, it is about 10 grand. So, not to break, it's just what it is. And if you put that in your thumbnail, it gets loads of views. So, there you go. Right, so, let's get you on the bench and get wrenching. I've got the comments up here, look, on the old iPad, so I can read along some of your comments live. So let me know in the comments what you lot have been up to. What have you been up to today, guys? Bashing? Wrenching? Working? What have you been up to? Someone says, what's the perfect motor for XRT? I don't know, I've not paid with mine, but I like stock for the X-Max. Just because I like to keep it sort of relatively lightweight. Matthew goes, how's the drones? I don't know, I haven't really paid with them for ages. Oh no, Tiger guy busted his X Max. Oh no, at least they're easy to work on, and most of the spare parts are relatively cheapish. Right, so let's get this gearbox open. I'll sort of roughly put it back together again, so I, I didn't forget where it all goes. Charlie ordered all the M M2C MC parts for the X Max. Nice one, dude. You put the big motor in there, are you? Savage Octane CDI on eBay. Oh, thanks, dude. I've got two of them. I bought two recently. Chris put lights on his drift car. Nice man. What, real drift car or RC drift car? What time is it there now? Time in the UK now is uh, 6 o'clock p.m. Hello, Frank. Frank from Canada. How you doing? A hobby from Pennsylvania, road train driver. Oh, I bet you get to see a lot of the country, didn't you, doing that? What's better, XRT or X-Max, says Joda? Depends, I'll say they're the same, they're pretty much the same car. There's only a few parts that are different, like the chassis mainly, and it's a bit wider. So I would say choose whichever one you like to look of. I like monster trucks, I like the clumsiness, I like to be able to get it up on two wheels and wheel it and backflip it and doing all the self white and all that stuff. So I'm an X-Max person myself. Right, so there is a broken shaft, look, see? It has slightly chewed it a little bit as well, look. But that should be all right. I don't think it's gonna to matter too much. It's gotta knock this bit of broken shaft out, I think. Will it come out that way? Yeah, it's all greasy, you could drop the gloves on. Matthew just bought a sledge today. Nice one. <laughs> yeah, I really do like my sledge. If you're going around fast, the sledge is better than the X-Max. Well, I'll, I'll just, I'm just an X-Max fanboy. People say I'm a Traxxas fanboy, but nope. When it comes to on-road, I prefer the Armour Limitless and the Infraction. I'm just a fan of the product, not a fan of the brand. So I'm a Savage fanboy. I'm a Ramonator fanboy. I'm an X-Max fanboy. I'm an Infraction fanboy. I'm just an RC fanboy, really. I like them all. But yeah, I'm never, I never sort of suck up to any brands in particular. Same with the upgrade companies. You know, I, I use parts from M2C, from Custom RC Upgrade, from Scorched, uh, from Kimberly, Basher Queen. You know, I'm not just, I don't just stick with one brand and that's it. I like to use different stuff. Right, I don't want to take this out too much. I'm going to forget where it goes. All right, remember where this goes. That's supposed to be there. I'm going to forget how this goes, aren't I? That goes on the end of that. out of there and we've got to get the remains of this shaft out of there 
That bearing does feel a bit crotchy actually. So this is how the reverse works look, if you can see that on there. It's got a fork in there that moves left and right. And then it changes from if it picks up the drive from this gear or the other gear on the other side. So, right, we've got to beat that out of there somehow. Did you like the HBI Vorza? I've never had one. I had a friend a few years ago that had one and it was really good. Yo, AJ, how you doing? Someone goes, when am I going to art next? I don't know. Absolutely no idea. But I wouldn't really want to give an exact day because the trouble is, if I say I'm going there, you end up like 100 people going and and uh, it gets a bit crazy. <laughs> yeah, I like it when people come up and say hello, but sometimes people just latch on like all day, might leave me alone and it just gets a bit much. I'm trying to film and stuff and constantly like questions all day long, it's like an all day long quiz. And you know, I get it, you know, they watch my videos, they wanna, they wanna see a bit of Kev, but it just gets a little bit too much. Especially when it goes on all day, like non-stop. Right, it's so a new shaft in there, like that. Yeah, bearing is a bit rough. I don't know if it matters though too much. I think that bearing only really goes when it's in reverse. Let's see how easy it comes out. If it comes out easy, I might change it. Which one is it? That one's rough. That one's smoothish. Raz in the house, how you doing? How you doing, boy? How's the weather there? Bashing today? No, Robert, no bashing today. Weather's just cold and wet at the moment. Hmm, doesn't really want to come out. I'm not in the mood of... Not in the mood of struggling with it. I don't think it matters too much with that bearing anyway, so we'll leave it in there for now. I think it only goes round when you're going backwards. We don't go backwards much, I don't think it really matters. Right. Remember how this goes. So that was in there. Then, oh no, that, that on there, that on there, and that one goes on there. Oh, that's why that that didn't want to come out. It's got a grub screw on there. Yeah, Billy, UK weather is horrible at the moment. I, mean, I, think, I do quite like the British weather. A lot of people go, oh, it's always raining there. I mean, not really. I think we have 50 days of rain in the year, I think. So just a perfect amount to keep everything nice and green. No, I might need to file this a bit. I think where the shaft broke, just chewed it up a little bit in there. So I'm gonna get one of my little needle files. <clears throat> Give it a little grindage in there. I'll move this away because I don't want to get all the sanding stuff in there. Give it a little grindage on it. Little sandage. What else are we saying? Our vehicles versus bought us its best weather. Yeah, I know you want the rain. The more rain, the better for you, Craig. Craig does videos of um, our vehicles versus water, of all cars going through fords and stuff and through water and getting drowned. I think we've got a right climate. I mean, we get no tornadoes, don't get any hurricanes, we don't get earthquakes, we don't get wildfires, not really anyway. Never really get extreme heat, never really get extreme cold. Uh, it's not bad, it's a lot worse out there. Now it goes over. <laughs> Craig says, wetter the better. That's what she said.
Do the Trill X Max hubs take oversized bearings? I think they do. Don't really get any snow. Yeah, don't get much snow. I mean, snow is fun, but I don't think I'd want to be in a country where it snows like loads. You know, like in Canada, for example, as, as, as lovely as a country it is, I don't think I could put up with that much snow and coldness. How many miles does Andy have? I think about 180 because it had the clocks changed at some point. But I think if you add them both together, it's about 180,000 miles. That back on. When are you getting a primal RC grave digger, Kev? I've got it. I've got it, dude. It turned up yesterday. Do you have a job you hate? I used to. I used to, Justin. I know you're referring to my eBay ad. I used to absolutely hate my job. My first job. Uh, I was 16, and after school I used to go in this tool making place, messing about on lathes and milling machines, doing all this repetitive crap, literally just f facing off thousands and thousands and thousands of these little bits of metal. You know, just imagine this, and you've got to make, imagine having to make like, uh, like 10,000 of these, and you stand there all day, you push the thing through, donk in the collet chuck, wind in the lathe tool, wind it out, and then undonk it, Move it along and again, just keep standing all day, just parting these things off for hours and hours, for days and weeks and months. <sighs> that job sucked. Then I had a job at a junk shop. That was just soul destroying, the stacking shelves and all this cheap stuff. Absolutely hated that job. Completely soul destroying. Should really fall on really, but I think we're where the shaft broke and it burned over a bit. Oh, oopsie, oopsie. So that job sucked. And then I had a welding job after that. And yeah, I quite enjoyed it. I like making things, but yeah, it's still a job in it. Anyway, that, that company moved away uh, to Oxford. I didn't really want to move to Oxford. So I've done it a little while, didn't like it, and then quit that job. Then I had a job in a company that makes uh, shop fitting stuff, you know, for like Top Shop and Top Man and shops like that, or like racks and shelving and things. That was quite boring. You could sit there for like days on end as welding junk together, the same stuff all day long. That was boring. That company went bankrupt, then I worked for a company with Craig actually, that's how I met Craig. From vehicles versus water. So that was making machines for food factories and going on site and fitting them. But but that is quite a good job. But I had enough of jobs by then. I was just I just didn't want a job anymore. I hated working for other people, so I walked out. They annoyed me one day. I just walked out. I <laughs> see ya. <laughs> that was it. Never had a job since. That was fifteen years ago. My last job. Crazy says, how is the eBay course? I've been hesitant about trying it. Well, you got, um, I've got two. I've got a free one and I've got a paid for one. The free one, just give it a go. I've got a lot of people that go on the free one and they make money with it. Paid for one is the one that's more in depth, where I teach you off everything I know, you know, all the little tricks and everything to, to make maximum money, you know, from what I know. But that comes with a 30 day refund guarantee anyway, so if you don't like it for whatever reason, if you have a go and you decide it's not for you, as long as you ask me within 30 days, you'll get a refund. Someone asked me for a refund, well two people actually asked me for a refund uh, in the past month, but they asked after the 30 days, so I can't refund them. Because the, the, the course is on a platform called Teachable, so anyone can go on there and make a course, you can go on there and make your own course and sell it. Um, and you know, so you're paying Teachable, but the platform rules is 30 days. 
uh, after 30 days, it's physically not possible to do the refund. You know, if I log in on, on the back end of it, if you guys want a refund, I'll just put your email address in, it finds you, I've got your user profiles, click on refund, boom, done, you get your refund, easy as that. I mean, it takes, takes me literally 30 seconds to refund you. It's not a problem at all. And you know, I offer such a relaxed refund guarantee because if, if it's not a good fit for you and you decide you don't want to do it, I don't think it's fair me taking your money. And also, it will give me a bad name if I don't refund you guys. So you get a lot, I get a lot better sign up rate to the course when I offer a really relaxed refund guarantee because you guys can literally try it risk free. Give it a go, give it a go for 30 days. And if you don't like it, you get your money back. If I was really strict on the refund, like Kevin David, for example, he never refunded anyway, you know, he's getting sued. So, uh, yeah, I'm really relaxed on the refund. The only term, the only condition is you got to ask me before the 30 days are up because the system will not let me refund after that. So, there you go. And there's people that make no money and there's some people that make loads. I had one dude on there, he's making 20 grand a, 20 grand a week, $20,000 a week he was making. I've got people on there making 10 grand a month, some people making 5 grand a month, some people making nothing. It all depends on the individual. Do you like Isle of Man TT? I've never been there, but I would love to check it out one day. I really would. Right, that is this gearbox back together. I suppose we might as well check the other bolts while we've got it apart. We need Grave Digger Kev. I've got it, dude. I've got it. And I've ordered a Taylor engine for it as well. So I'm waiting for that engine to come. I'm not even going to bother running it on the stock engine. I'm going to go straight for the new engine because it's nicer to work on when they're new. Oh, Justin said he remembers the Lambo story. Well, yeah, there is a video actually on this channel where I took the Lambo out for a drive. And I was banging on about the... Uh, happy jobs I had. Ah, this thing is heavy. That makes some space. Uh, Leon says, "Do you sell any of your RC cars?" No, I don't. Reason being is, is they're worth more to me to keep because you know one one video that I make could make more money than what the car's worth if I sell it then I can't do that video again. Also, the other reason is, it's hassle. You know, I've sold stuff. Let me tell you a story once. I had a Sab Goblin helicopter. So, one of these helicopters there, Sab Goblin, these are, these are the brand new Kraken ones. Uh, but before that, it was just a normal Goblin. So I had one of those. This was back in the day when I didn't have much money. And I had to work really hard for my money. Well, I still work really hard for it, but you know, I'm, I'm playing, aren't I? <laughs> so it is work, but it's playing at the same time. So this dude buys it, I think I had it on eBay, he turned up with cash, he looked at it and he, he got this helicopter so cheap, it was an absolute bargain, I mean I, I, I should have, you know, because I was honest I let him have it, but a lot of a lot of eBay sellers would have just said, oh sorry not available anymore, because it, I, just, I think it went, I can't remember, £300, this was like a £1,000 helicopter just to kit, just to get airframe, and he had the servos in it still, and it should have gone for like probably at least double that really, but he got it really cheap. So I let him have it. Man of my word, I let him take it. He come round the house. Uh, just trying to figure out which way round this goes back in. I can't remember. Uh, which way is it going? Right, hold on. I'm going to look at a different one. Hold on, I'll be back in a sec. I'll carry on with my story. Cable to the front top. Cable front top goes in that way. Yeah, so he comes, he comes around my house, he looks at the helicopter. He, he's happy with it, obviously he's happy with it because he got it so cheap. He gets the money out of his wallet. Uh, right, where's this guy? I've got to concentrate a bit so I don't do it wrong. He gets the money out of his wallet, we count it up, both happy, he takes the helicopter, off he goes. Anyway, he rings me up, like a few hours later, and he goes, I gave you too much money, I gave you £100 too much. 
And he's like some really big dude, and like, he looked like the sort of dude you didn't really want to mess with. And I thought, oh, here we go, he's going to try and scam me. So he goes, oh, I gave you too much money. I gave you £100 too much. He goes, can you check your wallet to see how much money I've given you? But I'd sold other stuff on eBay on that same day, and I'd, I'd cash in my, in my wallet already. I'd cash from someone else. I'd cash from the Goblin helicopter. He's ringing me up, he knows where I live, and he's telling me that he's given me £100 too much and he's going to come back to my house and get the 100 quid back. <laughs> I was like, dude, I was like, we counted out the money on the table, we counted it out, it's the right money. And he was, he wouldn't have it, and uh, eventually he rings me back, like a few hours later, oh yeah, uh, sorry, yeah, well, it's all accounted for now. I took out less money from the bank than what I thought I did. But anyway, things like that, where you just wish you just didn't bother dealing with people like that. So uh, yeah, I don't, I, I don't bother selling stuff. I hear so many horror stories from people selling stuff. The aggro they get afterwards, all the hassle, and ah, uh, it's just nah, it's not worth it. Not worth it to me. John, I'm in the house. How you doing? What number you get for the grave digger? Uh, I don't know. I'll have a look in a minute. I will show you. Good person says, yeah, ship only. Yeah, definitely ship only. But yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna sell any RC cars. I don't, I don't need to. You know, the videos pay for them. There's, there's no need to sell them. And, and it's nice as well, you know, it's, just, you know, it's sort of like nostalgia as well, isn't it? You know, if you've done like a fun video and you've still got the car there to show afterwards, it's cool. Kev, do you have any technos? No, I don't. I don't have any technos. Did you order the collector's edition for the Grave Digger? Yes, collector's edition. Does Lambo have a name? No. Do you know what? The only reason Andy DeLandy's got a name is because you guys, when I bought it, I done a live stream, and you guys were saying, what's the Land Rover's name? Have you got a name? And I was like, no, I, haven't got, I don't really name cars, really. And someone, and you guys were saying, we've got to name him, we've got to name him. So I was like, oh, all right, you guys come up with a name, and someone goes, Andy DeLandy, so that was it, it stuck. <laughs> All right, that fits in. Uh, next, this thing back in, which is a pig to get in, but yeah, whatever, it's going in. Hardcore in the house. He goes, You will be in Claire's Naughty Book going live today. Ah, oh, Dave. If I had to not go live every time someone else goes live, then I can never go live. So I, I don't even look who, who's live, you know. We should all have our own audience anyway, so it shouldn't really matter anyway. And most people watch it as a replay anyway, I don't, I don't even watch it live. <laughs> I, know, I know a lot of you guys, you try and be courteous to each other and not, not do lives when someone else is doing a live, but... Oh, well, you know, the, thing, the trouble is I don't schedule my lives, you know, my lives could be any time. You know, like now, now for example, I want to fix this laminator and it just happens to be, what day is it, Saturday? Yeah, that is the day that Claire normally does it, but yeah. <laughs> if, I, if I could only do a live when other people are not doing one, I could never do one. <laughs> are you getting married? No. I'll tell you what, in this modern age society, I don't think it's worth it. You could marry a woman, then she cheats on you, then she wants to divorce you, and then she wants half your money. So, it's, it's all in the woman's favour nowadays. So, better stay single. <laughs> Unless you find the perfect one, of course. This is a bleeding pig to get this screw in. <laughs> Hardcore goes cheaper to pay for services than get married. Yeah, definitely cheaper. <laughs> is that the ATCC Motors, Leonard? Yes, it is. Kev only loves his hot curry. Oh yeah, we had a hot curry the other day, actually. Prenup, Kev. Yeah, I, I don't think. 
Maybe some of you guys will know. Oh yeah, King says, even most of you are getting pregnant. Oh God, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think, is there such a thing as a prenup in the UK? Dave will probably know, Dave's all into legal things. Is there a prenup in the UK, Dave? Yeah, see, Dave goes, prenups have got no legal standing in the UK, so there you go. There you go then, I'll stay single while I'm in the UK. I have to move somewhere else. <laughs> uh, I'm not up for getting myself set up to be shafted. I'm not, not into that. Now, especially nowadays, you get all these feminists and everything. It's just, it's just a poor bloke's got no hope. You got no hope. If you're, if you're a dude, no hope. <clears throat> I need a bit of wrench for this. Can we get on there? Ah, here we go. Right in there. Can you do Notorious again? Yes, I've got a video coming up with that actually. I've got some parts from Kimberly, Basher Queen. She made some aluminium bulkheads on the bits and bobs. So there's gonna be a video putting that on soon. Oh, <laughs> dark cold goes, don't get me started on divorce in the UK. Go on, Dave, tell us all about it. Tell us all about the UK divorce. I'm interested in it, you know. What is the most expensive part of that laminator? Uh, the engine. <laughs> Hardcore guys, how long are you live for? Uh, whenever I get this thing back together, probably another, I don't know, half an hour, maybe. Kevy should, uh, Kev should marry Greta. Uh, no. <laughs> It'd be really creepy though, she's quite young, isn't she? I'm quite old. <laughs> and not my cup of tea. <laughs> Hardcore goes, short version, UK males get legged over, better just roll over and pay up. Yeah, do you know what? I know I know loads of guys that have been shafted by their wives and girlfriends. I've seen so many horror stories. The woman always walks away better off. Every time, from what I've seen, from my experience, my own eyes. So, yeah, it could ruin your life, couldn't it? You know, imagine that, you're spending your whole life trying to build yourself up. You're trying to, you're working all the hours under the sun, 14 hour days, seven days a week, for like 10, 20 years. Some slapper comes along, she's been sleeping around everywhere, never really done any hard work. You marry her, then she cheats on you, and then she gets half your stuff. <laughs> I'm not falling for that one. No chance. No chance. Hardcore goes, you could have bought a monster truck for what that cost me. Yep, yeah, I believe you, Dave. I've just had to give a monster truck to the tax man. I don't want to give another one away. Uh, that one RC car goes, JTOs are good cars, but the brakes are awful. I want to get a JTO, they do look really cool, didn't they? Illinois in the house. When was the last time you had a girlfriend? Oh, about 10 years ago. How much horsepower does the Raminator have? I don't know, actually. If any of like, you guys know in the comments, let me know down below. Oh, gold, hardcore goes if the kids are involved. Starting point is 10% to 90%. <laughs> so what, what does that mean? You've got to give 90% away? Can't be that bad, could it? Mm, right, yep, that's on right. You've got to make sure that you put this on the right way around, otherwise you get the phasing wrong, then you can get vibrations. So whichever way, whichever way these pins are this end, you want it the same that end, otherwise you can get funny vibrations. Because as, as a prop shaft is at an angle, there's a video on YouTube that explains it actually, but, it, but this section here 
speeds up and slows down. So if you have it like 90 degrees out, that means your phasing's wrong, and that means it speeds up and slows down the axle. But if you got it, so you've got this end the same as that end, then that will speed up and then it will slow back down when it goes there. So it will match up, if that makes sense. Oh my God, Dave, you're giving away 90%. Sod that. Sod that. No way. No way I'm working so hard just to let some snapper have it all. <laughs> no way. Make the X-Max 12S. Oh, no. <laughs> According to Google, 80 cc is five horsepower. Yeah, maybe. And all you guys are saying, am I gonna get the primal grave digger? I've got it, I've got it, guys. I'll show you in a minute. Oh my God, Dave goes, got it down to 70. So you have to give away 75% and 60 grand in legal fees. Oh my God. No way, no way, I'm not falling for that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, no, no, you just, you just can't, can you? I mean, I'm all for fairness. You know, I'm, I'm all for like, if you buy a house together and you both put the same in, at the end of it, you get half back. That, you know, that, that's fair, isn't it? But if the dude paid for it all and it's kind of his house and the woman gets half of it, that's not fair. Or the other way around, you know, if, if the woman paid for it and, and the dude got half of it, that wouldn't be fair either. You know, I'm just, I'm just one for fairness. And the system is definitely not fair. Did your grave digger come with stickers? I don't know yet. I haven't really fully looked. You should get a T-Max. Yeah, maybe. Right, uh, underneath's done. I think, oh no, it's not done, I've got to put, I've got to put this reverse linkage back on, so that's got to go up and over here. I'll tell you what I've done earlier, I was fixing my 4S Raminator, because I said at 2 million subscribers I'm going to send the Raminator to the moon, like flat out. And I've already done it with this one, so it'd be a bit pointless doing it with the same one again. So I'm going to do it with the electric brushless one. Uh, right, where's the, where's the hole? Huh? What? Right, I'm confuzzled. How does... Oh, no, I'm not confuzzled. Sorry. Sorry, I'm being silly. Yes, yeah, so I was doing the shocks, and as I moved, I was, I, I, I was all cleaning everything. I went and I pulled the shock shaft down, and then all the oil shot out straight in the face, all in my eyes, all in my hair, everywhere. <laughs> then I had a shower and then done the same thing again. <laughs> I had to have another shower. Does that have to have an extended wheelbase on it? It does, yes. Alright, so for some reason here, right, I want to get this collar back on the same place as it came off of. If I remember correctly, it was the same far on as the collet is, if that makes sense. If not, it don't really matter. Is M2 parts good? M2. If you mean M2C, uh, then yes, they are very good. One of the best upgrade companies out there. Get in there, boys and girls. Any girls on the stream? No, I guys, how do you manage, manage to get that on the bench? Oh man! Hoo -ah! Hoo -ah! Dimitri! Hoo -ah! <laughs> uh, oh. well, with the wheels on there, it's easier to lift. When the wheels are off, when the wheels are off and the body's off, you can hold it on there and lift it. So it's not as bad. When the wheels are on and the body's on, it's almost impossible. Yeah, I've been good, Noah. How have you been? Uh, 
cheeseburger goes, do you work out? I'll do a little bit of exercise. You know, especially if if, I'm, if it's a day where I'm just editing all day. I'm just sitting on the computer, I'm not getting active. I'll do a little bit of jogging around and a bit of... Got a couple of dumbbells, have a little blast on that every now and then. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to get all massive, but I want to stay healthy. Because if you don't exercise, you, you age quicker, and it's really unhealthy for your heart and everything else. I reckon you should get out of breath at least once a day. AS Mini Max again. <laughs> uh, I've got AS Sledge coming up soon. Got AS Sledge coming up. Probably going to blow the tyres off. Do you have anything with FG cars? Oh, I've got one coming. I've got the FG Marder coming, the original one. And I really, I want the FG Beetle, the two-wheel drive one, the original one. But you can't buy those anymore. But every now and then, a body does come up on eBay. So I've bought the Marga, Marder buggy. I'm hoping to find a body and an under tray on eBay at some point. And put that on there, and I got it. That was one of my dream cars when I was, when I was a little kid. I had the catalogue, and I used to see it on there. And I was like, oh man, I wish I could have one. The picture, the picture I had, it had six on there, and I was like, oh man, I wish I could have that. And I did buy one one day, but I sold it. Oh damn it! I don't think I've done no screws up under here. Oh, silly me! I'll be waffling to you guys, and I forgot to do the screws up inside here, so I've got to take it off again now. Silly me! Horsepower or torque, says Doug. You need both, didn't you? More's better on both numbers. <laughs> I think horsepower is just a calculation of torque and RPM, isn't it? So if you've got the same RPM and you give it more torque, then the horsepower goes up. But with some things, you want really low down torque. And with other things, it, the RPM's better, isn't it? So I think it, it depends on the application. I think if you want a Formula One car, you're going to want more horsepower. If you have something like a monster truck, you're going to want more torque. Even though, I think the monster truck's got more horsepower than the Formula One car. What, what, is, what is Formula One car horsepower, guys? Let me know in the comments, because I've got no idea. I've got 800 in my head, is that right or not? Let me know in the comments. Horsepower of a Formula One car. Focus, Kev, focus as Frank, yes. Hardcore goes, I think, about 1500. Really? They got that much? The Monster Truck's got 1500. Go on, someone Google it. How much have they got? Someone Google it. Formula One car horsepower. Let Tommy drive the monster truck. No way. <laughs> no one's driving that. Oh, well, not no one. No, people that know what they're doing can drive it, like Tony. Tony can drive it. If he wanted to, he helped build it, so he could have a go. About 800, 1,050, 900, 1,000. Yeah, there you go. So monster truck's got more horsepower and more torque. What's the zero to 60 in a Formula One car? The monster truck does it in about three seconds. Jason goes, 200 pound budget, what RC car to buy? I would, it might be a little bit over, I'm not sure, but I would go with the uh, associated MT10. This one here, look. That's one I'd go with. It might be a little bit over, but if it is, it's worth paying that little bit more. I mean, I would say this is the best budget RC car. I know some people say it's not budget, but, you know, compared to all these other ones, it, it definitely is budget. It's probably the cheapest sort of real proper hobby-grade basher RC, and you can beat the living head out of that. That is, well, as a testament to it, I'll let Stempy have a go, and it wouldn't die. Kept going and going and going. Hardcore says 2.4 seconds. That's the same as the Lambo. <laughs> So the Lambo's got the same acceleration as a Formula 1 car, that's pretty good. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, I always thought that Formula One cars were stupidly fast. And I, I guess they are, but there's a lot of old cars now that give them a run for their money. I think where, where, where Formula One cars really come into their own is on the corners. They've got the slick tyres, all the downforce and all that. I think that's where, where most of it is, all on cornering. When is game over next event? I've got the one in August booked in. I haven't got any other ones booked in apart from that yet. When in the UK we don't get many. We've got Monster Jam sometimes. And Monster Jam offered me to go over there so I can learn how to drive them properly at Monster Jam University. Uh, but you need the, the Vax to go over there and I don't want it. So I can't go. So we've got to wait for that mandate to go away and then I can go. That's if I still want me over there. <laughs> right, uh, that on that on there. Not the 60 Andy the Landy, oh my god, that's like a minute probably. <laughs> Have you found property yet? Well, I have, but a woman was messing around and was trying to sell it. And then I lost my mortgage offer. And I think now with all the interest rates being high, I think I'm just gonna try and save up and try and do it without a mortgage. And hopefully by then, the prices will be cheaper as well. That's kind of what I'm holding out for, but you never know. Well, where's me, where's me? Ah, oh, here, here it is. Cheeseburger goes, are you anti-vax? I wasn't, but since the past couple of years, I am now. It's getting big now. I'm on a mission to fix all my RC cars. I've got about 17 RC cars that are broken. Micro builder goes, oh, you're cancelled now. <laughs> uh, I'm not, I'm not saying anything bad about it. I'm just saying I don't want it. You have to say that, aren't you? You have to say that you don't want it. I don't know if, I, if I'm allowed to tell you my reasons why I don't want it. I think if I told you the reasons why I don't want it, then my account would be at risk. YouTube guidelines don't let me say what I see with my own eyes. I can't say it. Ugh. But you know, everyone, everyone can make their own choice. If you want it, have it. If you don't want it, don't have it. That's all I can say. If you want it, knock yourself out. Have as many as you want. If you don't want it, don't have it. Just don't push your belief on anyone else. Whatever your belief is, for or against, don't force it onto others. Because at the end of the day, no one, you don't really know for sure if you're right or wrong. It's only an opinion. And to force your opinion on someone else, I would say is wrong. You just got to do your own research. Make up your own mind. And decide what's best for you. End of the day. How much time is to build? Oh, I don't know. No, we're not talking about political things, dude. We're talking about health. Health is the most important thing that you can possibly have, more important than anything else, because without health, you've got nothing. Health is one of the most important subjects ever. So I'm not going political. I'm, going, I'm talking about health. You know, I like to talk about things that make you happy. Being healthy makes you happy. Making loads of money makes you happy. Having cool toys makes you happy. Chatting with you guys makes you happy. So it's about that. Without RC cars, you got nothing. Well, if that's your hobby, yeah. 
We can't go over and it seems like a money pit. Uh, do you know what? Let me show you something. Find it. Oh, can't find it now. Oh, yeah. You know, you see that red laminated down there, that red one. If you saw the video where I jumped into the moon and all the actual folded under, and it looked completely and utterly trashed, that's all it broke. You broke two shock pistons, two drive cups, and they are a bit of a weak spot, so I'll, I'll put the Taylor ones in all, all of my ones now. Uh, but I did land on power, so I kind of take half the blame for that. We broke a shock standoff, and that was my fault because I drilled the pistons out too far and the shock bottomed out. And that caused a rod end to bend. So considering that crash and how bad it looked, that wasn't too bad. So it, it tends to be little cheap things that normally go wrong with these. So I think once you've bought it, keeping it going isn't that much. I mean, the shocks leak quite early on, but I just found if you get a R07 O-ring and wedge it in the bottom here, take the, take, the, take the o ring out what's in there and put one of those in there, it stops leaking. So I've done that on this laminator and I've done it on that one and there's no leaking in the shocks now at all. Uh, it did use to kill servos um, because the servo stable, stable was sticky, so I put a bit of grease in there and, and now it's fine, it doesn't kill servos anymore. Uh, what else? It doesn't really break, really. I mean, it breaks the cups in. That, that's one of the worst things. It breaks the diff cups. But if you get the Taylor ones in there, I've not broken any of those yet, so hopefully, touch wood, they're going to be good. I've broken a couple of gearbox shafts with a big power, but, you know, look at the horsepower we're putting in there. It's mad. So no, I don't think they're too bad. I mean, quite, it takes quite a lot of work working on these, but I wouldn't say they're that difficult. Did you see the all carbon XRT that Cletus has? Oh, I, I watched a couple of Cletus's videos with them, yeah. I saw one with some carbon on it. Show us the grave digger box. All right, all right, I'll show you in a minute. Make it six by six. <laughs> Those tires are massive. These tires are nearly the size of my head. Nearly. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go in a minute. Have a little, have a little drink of my drinky drinky. Eighty horsepower engine or eighty cc? Oh, not eighty horsepower. Eighty cc. Game over skin for BMNG. Yes, there is one on there. If you get, I keep forgetting which one it's called. I think it's Beam. No, not Sim Monsters. Something else. Beam Monsters. If you go on a website called Beam Monsters, you can download a monster truck pack. It's got all the tracks on there and the trucks, and it's got a game over on there as well. Bye, old school. He's got to go. See you later, dude. <laughs> no, I said I couldn't believe how big the car tyres are. Matthew goes, what's your poison? Uh, bread. <laughs> if, if, if you can call that a poison. Probably bread. I don't really eat any sugar. I don't smoke. I don't drink. Indian food sometimes. I don't know. No, I, I try and be healthy. You know, you've only got one health. Once you've killed it, you've killed it. Now I guys, poison means alcohol. Yeah, I mean, a little bit of alcohol is all right. You know, if you have a bit of wine with your meal, it's fine. But if you get snorted like all the time, that's not going to do you any good at all. So it's better, better not to drink it at all. So you're, you're right there, Noah. Do a backflip. What, me or with a monster truck? Hard to drive RC drunk. <laughs> yeah, but alcohol's a scam really, isn't it? I mean, if you think about it, if you go to a nightclub, you have to be drunk or it, or it sucks. So in my eyes, if you've got to be drunk to enjoy an activity, it's just a bad activity. You're just better off not doing it. Noah says I can do a backflip. What, you, your body can do a backflip? Really? You have to show me that then. Do, do a video. Carl goes, any potential ladies in your future? Not in this country, dude. <laughs> You're not allowed prenups, apparently. <laughs> Whoa, no one's going to show me. Nice one, dude. Where did you learn how to do that? 
Raz, 199 mile an hour RC car. Mm, yeah. Amazing speed. I think you've done it with one motor as well. Do you think Co-Rally Kronos is any good? As a normal RC car, good. It drives really good, but not an extreme basher. They say it's an extreme basher, but not from my experience, from what I've seen. They don't really take an extreme bashing. But they're good. They take a, a, a sort of a mediocre bashing. <clears throat> But they do handle really nice. Uh, oh, no, I've taught himself. Do you own any Hobeo? Yes. Let me show you. So, I've got, where is it? That one there, Hobeo Hyper VS. Just was turned up here, look. Oh, yeah, that's for video, a little nitro drift car. I've got a little mini jet boat for when the summer comes. I've got Hobeo whatever that is, v, VTE2, got two of them there, and four XLX2s, and that build's gonna be top secret until Rossa, I think, and then I'll show it. So I'll show everything, once it's all done and I've run it, I'll show it all, but it's gonna be a bit of a secret until it's done, and then I'll release the videos when it's, when it's finished. Uh, because when I've done like that build, for example, and that build, it's like, I still haven't got the record. I said I'm going to do the record. And then like two years later, I still haven't. So I don't really want to do the same again with that. So I kind of just have now, and I? So you'll have to wait on that one. So I'm doing a video on these two. Uh, that one broke in half, actually. I've just put a new chassis on it. And then we can carry on with that video. Uh, oh, look, I've got another Savage. That Savage is, the, I think that's the first... Nitro XL Savage that came out and I found it on eBay, really good condition. It looks barely used. Uh, that one I want to get a body for, a different body, so I'm not a fan of that one. I've actually got the body, um, just Claire's got to pick it up for me. Uh, 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 I've got an El Camino body here, because I used to have a Savage X back in the day with an El Camino body, so this one's getting an El Camino body. And then you guys want to see my new grave digger. There she is. New grave digger, collector's edition in this box. Uh, yeah, look there. There's the wheels, look. Look at that. It's got alloy bead locks on there. So I'm just waiting for the trailer engine to come. This one's going to get a 50 this time. The other one's got an 80, and the 80 seems a little bit much. So this one's going to get a 50cc. I've, I've been doing a durability test video on this, and I've bent the chassis. I've jumped it like full speed, and it landed on a skateboard ramp, like on the edge like that, and that kills everything. So, oh, look, go-kart. I got that off eBay secondhand, so we're going to get a video with that at some point. And, oh, look, 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 my baby. <laughs> Right, so that's that. Oh, I want to do long jump with a sausage soon. When are you going to come down? I'm sorry about MP10s. So the MP10s, I'm going to race these when the weather gets a bit better. It's just so miserable out there at the minute. It's like freezing cold, it's wet, it's windy, it's just miserable. I just, I just, you know, this is now the time of year is where I build stuff. So I might get another helicopter to build. I might find another RC car to build. Uh, we still, I'll still go out bashing, you know, probably still go out once or twice a week. But I just want to focus more on just doing stuff in here. So this one's a second-hand MP10 that I got off of Mick Craddock. It's got all this race set up on there and everything. So I'm going to practice for that one first and then go over to that one there, which is a limited edition. Um, and this one here as well. I've got to run this one in. Give that a little rippage. Got a video coming out with that. We made it sparky. Uh, what else we got? We got these cars. I want to take indoor racing. I've got uh, I've got four mini cars there, and we're going to race them all in the same race, hopefully. Uh, oh, check this out! My mate Andy painted this for me. Look how nice that looks. So I'm going to put that on my mini Z, the rear-wheel drive one, and we're going to take that one racing as well. So we'll do a video out of that. Uh, loads of other videos. I've got a whole whiteboard in there this is full of videos that are half done 
<laughs> it really made a side look. <laughs> yes. Man, this thing looks sick, doesn't it? Look at that. Look at that. I love it. I love my laminators. It's like my favourite RC car. I mean, between this, between this and the uh, X Max, my favourite. I mean, this one is more intense when you're driving it. This is this is more fun when you're actually using it, but it's not that practical. Got your man ended, so you can see. So that that is not practical at all. It's like almost impossible to lift it up. When you break it, you better hope it's near your car and you've got a friend with you to help you lift it in your car. Working on it is... I'm, I'm starting to get the angle of it now. I mean, that transmission wasn't too bad. I mean, the first few times I took that transmission out, I was swearing. But I'm getting hang of it now, so it's getting easier. Uh, when you break the diff cups, it's a bit of a pain in the ass. I broke both of them on that one. And I just split both axles. It took me like all day to do, to do, to do two axles. So, you know, it's a little bit more work maintaining it. All the nuts and bolts tend to rattle loose if you don't lock tight and properly. But when you're driving it, it's just so much fun. And just looking at it, it's like definitely my coolest RC car in the whole collection. But X Max is like an everyday RC car. When your buddy rings you up, say, Do you want to go out for a bash? You know, you can't just, well, you could, but it's like mission. You just grab the X Max, off you go. You can go anywhere with it. You can go through the woods, you can go skate park, BMX track, anywhere you want. If you break it, it's not too heavy, so you can carry it. Spares are cheap, easy to work on. I mean, it's just the ultimate RC car in my eyes. All, all round, you know, everything considered. Maintenance, fun, durability, like everything. So that, they are my two favourite RC cars. And that one, like we said earlier, is my favourite budget RC. Stempy had a go and he couldn't kill it. Right, I'm going to let you lot go in a minute. Hardcore says that Claire wants to do a stream. So you lot can head over to Claire's channel and I may well come in and say hello in there a bit later on. I'm going to go home and have some food. Uh, Zachary says more XRT videos soon. Yes, uh, I've got some spares has turned up. So I might actually work on that car next. So yeah, I mean, I've got the Savage I'm going to do in a minute uh, with the El Camino body and I've got to make it change gear. It's stuck in second gear. Uh, I've got the Notorious, I've got to do with the Bash of Queen stuff. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, it goes Curry tonight. No, not tonight, dude. And the XRT. So I've got all those bits kicking around. So I might, I might do the... Oh, no, what do you want, what, what do you want me to do? What, what do you guys want to see? Do you want to see... Do you want to see the XRT first? The Savage with an El Camino body and two speed working, the Nitro one. Or do you want to see the Notorious with the Bash of Queen stuff on it? Which one do you want to see first out of that lot? Mo says he's going to buy an XRT. Brilliant RC, dude. Zoss says XRT. Jim says Savage. Brandon says XRT on Notorious. Oh, da Spank. <laughs> Spank Bank. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> says he always gets gets on the streams when I'm about to end. Dude, you got to hit the subscribe button, which you already have because you're commenting, but then you've got to hit the bell button as well and have notifications set to on. Then when I get streaming, you'll get a notification and you can jump on the stream and start waffling. XRT or Notorious, where is Spike? I've got to hook up with Spike. I've not seen him for like a year or two. Spike's one of those friends. I, I consider him as one of my best friends, but I'll probably see him once or twice a year. <laughs> <laughs> grave digger. I've got to wait for the engine for the grave digger. I'm not going to do that till I get the engine, dude. Mahusi fans of El Camino. It's quite mixed, isn't it? It's quite mixed. How is your XRT after the after the what? The sabotage, I think you're meaning to say. Uh, that was Max's XRT. I've done that too. There's the cable tie. Well, he Max zip tied the throttle fully open on my. DBXL Nitro petrol and done the runaway. So I zip tied Max's <laughs> throttle trigger on his on his XRT and it just shot off across the field and crashed into a tree. Blew all the tires off. <laughs> it's real funny. <laughs> I'm just waiting now for Max to do something to me now. Hey. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I go, you better not do that to my RC cars. Well, don't do it to mine then. I'll just done, I'll just done it as payback. <laughs> Any news on game over stickers? Not yet, dude. I've got to get on the case of that. People saying Savage, new 4S armors. Yes, I just showed them. They're behind over there. We'd like to see more Lambo. Yeah, I mean, I'll get it out again in the summer. I couldn't really get it out much last summer because I was building the monster truck and the monster truck was in front of it. So I can't, I can't really, I don't know. What sort of video can I do? I've already had it out in the video. I don't want to do the same video again, just driving it around on the street. I mean, the only way to make it interesting would be to break the law with it. And... And then you get points in your license and stuff, so it's not really worth it. So, I don't know, what, what can I do with it? Now it goes track day. I don't know, would, would you guys enjoy a track day with it? I mean, so many people doing track day videos. And there's so many Lambos out there, they've got turbo kits and supercharger kits, that mine's quite a slow one compared to some of them. So, I don't know. Is it, is it something worth filming? I don't know. Get a 3D printer. I've got one from Banggood. I mean, he's got it in a minute, just learning how to use it. And it's, uh, I don't know, all the 3D prints come out wonky and stuff, so. Bell smashed. There you go, Mr. Spank. <laughs> Bell smashed. Hopefully catch you next time early. Where is the insane escort? Well, the insane escort... Is Craig's, so vehicles versus water. Who was commenting earlier, that's his one. Kev, do you like streaming? Does it say streaming? I think it's supposed to say streaming. Yeah, I wouldn't do it otherwise, would I? Yeah, I enjoy it. Yeah, Norman, amazing that Stempy couldn't break that, that um, whatever it's called, MT10. Speed run videos, SJ. Yeah, in the summer. Weather sucks here now. No good for speed running. Let Max bash to Aminator. Maybe. <laughs> the thing is, guys, it takes so long working on these Raminators. On that, on that red one down there, uh, that little damage that I showed you earlier, it might not look like much, but it took me like nearly three days of wrenching to fix it. So it's, it's not so much the money... It's just the amount of hours it goes into fixing them. And I suppose as, as time goes on and you find your way around them, it'll get quicker. More Savage is my call. Yeah, there is another Savage video coming soon. Hope you have a good day, says Nicholas. Yeah, good day, dude. Been fixing stuff. I fixed the uh, 4S armour. I finished off fixing the electric laminator and now fix this. Take the monster truck out for a rip. Do you know what? I can't wait until I get my own bigger property with a bigger workshop, with a bigger shutter and a bit of land so I can just drive out, destroy some stuff and then drive it back in. <laughs> can you send me a free RC please? Dude, your username says it all, oh, lazy man. If you weren't so lazy, you could buy your own. So the answer to that is no. Stop being lazy and buy your own. And if you're lazy, you don't really deserve anything. You know, there's nothing wrong with being lazy. If you want to be lazy, but you're not sponging, fine. But if you're sponging, work harder. Drag race Lambo versus monster truck. That means I've got to let someone drive one of them. <laughs> uh... Chock, sorry, butchered the name, says everyone hit the like button. Yeah, guys, hit the like. Look, we've got 627 viewers, and you must be liking it, otherwise you wouldn't be here. And only 345 thumbs up. Come on, guys, let's get it up to at least 627 thumbs up. It helps the algorithm. Uh, it helps me get more views on the videos. So, thumbs up, guys. Come on, come on. Get the thumbs up going. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it up to 633 thumbs up. There we go, we've got it on to 400. I don't normally ask, but someone reminded me, so why not? How much did the Petrol Savage cost you? I think I paid £400 or £500, something like that. Oh, someone says I don't have any RC friends. 
what you got to do, you got to start a Facebook group and get chatting with people and just agree to, to meet up and then you'll be surprised how quickly your group, your group grows. I mean, we've got to try and limit the size of the group because it sometimes it gets crazy. We go to a skate park, there's like 20 people, 20 RCs flying around, it's mad. We, we have to, the opposite problem. <laughs> Too many people want to come out, which is great, but it just can get a bit crazy depending on what location we're at. Can you say my name? Says Rickus Kalimum. <laughs> no, sorry, dude. Marco Builder says, Can you make your own RC track when you get your own land? Yes, definitely, dude. I want to. I want to have like a separate room somewhere just for the micro stuff. I was thinking about it yesterday because I was filming some micro caller videos. I went to Redfin's and I'm thinking like one property that I looked at in the unit it had like a big massive barn on there with offices in there and uh, and it's got space upstairs in one of the units and that would make a perfect room for like micro RCs like micro crawler track, mini Z track, all the little micro helicopters and everything. Uh, oh, it would be, be amazing. But you know, when you want cool stuff, you've got to work hard. And at the minute, I'm still got to work hard. Uh, Philip says, I wish RC was bigger and more accepted. Well, I think it's all right, you know. There's plenty of clubs around. There's plenty of people to find to do RC with. And whether it being accepted or not, I mean, it doesn't matter, does it? You know, if you're out playing with your friends and other people don't like them, it doesn't matter, does it? As long as you like them. So, I don't know, yeah, I mean, it's always good to get new people in the hobby. But now I'd say there's enough people already in the hobby. Try Bandit VXL, maybe. Jax Landry says, can you say my name? Did I say it right? Probably not. Are you getting Wide Max kit? Probably not, Jabby. I was going to, but now that uh, I've got the XRT, that one's wide, I don't really need to. A lot of savage as it is, really. I've had to go on someone's wide max. It's a lot more stable, but I, I kind of like the clumsiness of the X-Max as it is, so I'm going to leave it. Does your 3D printer still work, says Norman? Uh, I think so. Vinny's got it. I've not seen it for ages. <laughs> he tried to 3D print me a steering wheel for my DX5 Pro, the little thumb thing. It didn't work. It, just, it all just flopped over. <laughs> Tumsy wumsy tumbly wumbly, says Micro Builder, yeah. <laughs> when will we see we see the four S armor videos? Well, I've done one skate park video and I broke the outcast in half, I fixed it. Uh, next I want to do a little speed run, see how fast they go. Uh, and then I just want to do a little normal bash somewhere, you know, maybe I don't know, just through the woods somewhere, something like that. Tell us a joke. I don't get jokes, I don't really say jokes. What is up the staircase of doom? Junk room and editing room. Make Lambo straight pipe should be loud. It already is. It's got a valve exhaust. So when the valves are closed uh, or open, whichever way it is, but one, one way it's like straight through and it's loud. And the other way it goes through the silences and it's quiet. So it's, it's kind of already straight piped. Smart, hard, smart, not hard. Project saying 210 mile an hour coming, project. Yes, but I'm going to aim for more than that. That's my next project. My next project is going to be mad. If you think the projects I've done so far are overpowered, you wait till you see the next one. Have you got limiting straps on that instead of limiting shocks? No, if you're on about this, there's no limit straps. I haven't got limit straps on anything, I don't think. I mean, UDR comes with them. Uh, yeah, so enough, none of my RCs have got limit straps. Noah, are you going to come to Rossa this year? you got to come to Rossa. Any plans on a tug a truck build? What's a tug a truck? I want to get a rock bouncer. I've been teasing myself for those busted knuckles rock bouncers and uh, I said to him so I'm going to order one soon <laughs> but at the minute I've got nowhere to keep one so I've got to get land first with, with, with space to keep it all after that we can get more toys 
Do you think you'll ever look at RC drifting? Uh, it's not really my cup of tea. I've got a drifting MST or whatever it is up there. Uh, Vinny's got one as well. We're going to take it to a club at some point and do a little video. I mean, it's all right, but I'm not really into it, really. You know, even real drifting. I mean, I like getting cars sideways, but dedicated drifting is, is not really me. What do you think of Shmi 150? I, I watch a few of his videos. I'm subscribed to him. Seems like a cool dude. I've never met him, though. He's got some really nice cars. More Mad Max. <laughs> yeah. Stempy, drive your big truck. No. Even though I think Stempy would be right in the monster truck. Stempy gets scared when he's inside something. If he's, I don't think he'd even jump it like half a foot. He'd probably be scared. So I, think, I don't think Stempy would do too much if he was in the monster. But you give him an RC car. If he's not in it, that's it. Game over. Done. Finished. What bearing set do you recommend for TRX4? Uh, do you know, I wanted to convert my TRX4 to, to bushes. So that I can take it in water. Not worry about them seizing up. But I'll, I'll just put the stock Traxxas ones back into my one. Can we see your editing setup? Oh, I can't be bothered now, but it's, there are videos on this channel and on the other channel. Uh, it's just uh, free 20 inch monitor, no, 27 inch monitors, I think. Or 32, no, I mean 32s, I can't remember now. Three of them. Custom made table. There are videos on this channel. And if you go into my business channel, you'll probably see a few on that as well. You should get an RC banger. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they don't really appeal to me neither. I mean, I used to do banger racing, the real bangers. But the RC bangers don't really appeal to me because they don't really break. I mean, if you did banger racing with, like, touring cars, that would be fun because you're actually destroying, like, someone else's car. <laughs> That's fun, isn't it? But if, if you're just doing it with something that doesn't break, I don't know. Like, my buddy says it just sounds like a whole hall full of lunchboxes being kicked around. <laughs> like my builder goes, you turned me onto banger racing. Thanks for that. Yeah, banger racing's good. If any of you guys from America don't know what banger racing is, type it in on Google or YouTube. Type in banger racing. I mean, I know you guys have got Demolition Derby, but banger racing is like on a whole other level. You know, you guys in America normally do everything like 10 times more. You know, we're in the UK, we're, we're like behind you guys on most things. But... When it comes to banger racing, we're miles ahead of you guys, like miles. You you watch some proper banger racing, you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. It's violent. Try and pull monster truck with Raminator, it wouldn't work. The monster truck moves with three people. Three people can push it. Meccano Demo Derby. Yeah, we've done a Meccano Destruction Derby. Can you buy Kraken, blah de blah? Uh, maybe. I mean, it does look really cool. I mean, I have seen them on videos and stuff. They look really cool. So may maybe, maybe, at some point. How much are they? Anyone know how much they are? Where's the Grave Digger from Primal? <laughs> I'll just show it. If you wind it back a little bit, I showed the boxes and the, and the tyre box. So then use three Raminators to pull the monster truck. Oh, that could be a video. How many toy monster trucks to put a real monster truck? Uh, yeah, we could do that, actually, couldn't we? We could do that. I could do it in the workshop as well. Just pull the Lambo out. Uh, yeah, so, good idea. How many toy, how many toy, how many toy monster trucks to put a real monster truck? There's a video. What's louder, monster truck or Raminator? Monster truck is way louder, Noah, way louder. What is your most powerful RC? Probably the speed car. Probably. Or maybe this. I don't know. It could be this one. Do you have anything jet propelled? No, not yet. I do want to get a jet though. So I might get one. Yeah, I should actually. I could be a little winter project build, couldn't it? Get a jet to build and fly it in the summer. And then when it crashes, I can take the engine out and put it into an infraction. How fast is that big truck? This one, 
Uh, I think on the high speed gearing, you probably do about 40-ish. I've got it geared to probably do about 30, which is more than enough. You wouldn't want it to go anymore, really. Can do more Lambo reads, maybe. Rear steer X Max. Yeah, I did think about it. Someone has done it. I might do it at some point. I mean, sometimes at skate parks, it would definitely help so you get a bit of a tighter turning circus. Yeah, and the RC toilet, we've got to do that. Now it goes 100 mile an hour Raminator, world's fastest Raminator. Nah, I mean, uh, not for me really. You know, I've got my speed cars and well, maybe one day, who knows. I, 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 my, my goal with these Raminators is to make them more bashable, you know, make them so you can send them to the moon. Why would you not want it to go faster? It's just, it's just too much. I mean, it's quite clumsy. You've got these, you've got these big balloony tyres that expand. It's just, a, it's just a monster truck. I mean, they're not built for speed. So, you know, when you see this thing moving at like 30 mile an hour, it looks, it looks quite scary anyway. You wouldn't want it coming at you. So for this thing to do 100, it'd be a bloody death trap, wouldn't it? You, you wouldn't want to be anywhere near it. Do you have the version 2 Limitless? Yes, I do have one. I haven't used it yet though, it's still in the box. <laughs> Ever tried a Hoffercraft? No, I haven't. Lossy King Sling. Yeah, tempting. Do you ever kill any skaters? <laughs> well, you know, when there's skaters on the skate park, we don't go on there. So if we turn up at a skate park and the skaters, we go. If skaters turn up and we're there, sometimes they come along and they want to watch, so then we carry on while they're watching. If they want to skate, then, then we wait for them to finish or we go. You know, it's a skate park. Skaters get priority, end of the day. And that's why a lot of the time when you see that it rains, it's because we decide to go when it rains, because then we know that there's no, one, no one's going to be there. We're going to get to play on there. So, And we go on weekdays as well when you get all the kids at school. Monster truck or Lambo if you can only keep one. One hundred percent, definitely. I'm gonna let you like. I'm gonna let you guys comment down below. What do you reckon? If I could only keep one, would I keep the monster truck or the Lambo? What what, what do you guys reckon? I reckon most of you guys are gonna guess right. One of them was a lifelong dream. The other one wasn't. <laughs> Put X Max tires on laminator. Yeah, I should do for that. Yep, you guys are right, the monster truck, one person said Lambo. I mean, it's a cool car, but it was it was never really a dream of mine. It's Dempy's fault I got that. Stempy goes, come on, let's go London. Let's go London, have a look at some supercars. So I was like, yeah, all right, worth a laugh, isn't it? So I sat into a Harrican Performante, and I never really liked supercars before. You know, I was sort of, I just thought they were just a showy-offy thing. I didn't even know that they were fast. I thought it was just some pointless, overpriced kit car. So I saw it in the flesh and it looked like, it looked really cool. I was like, yeah, it looks pretty good. I sat in it and it was like all nice. And then they started it up and I heard the engine. And then when I got home, I started looking into them and I looked at the performance and I was like, wow, this is actually really fast. Uh, and then I got one. <laughs> so it's Deb's fault. Is it possible to go 300 miles an hour with an RC? Not at the moment. I'm sure one day it will be. I mean, a few people are doing sort of around about 200 at the moment. So to go another 100 on top of that, we'd need some completely new technology. I don't think we could do it on the te technology that we have. And I think the limiting factor at the minute is probably tyres. Jason goes, sell Lambo and build another monster truck. I've got a plan to build 10 monster trucks. Don't ask me why. Do you hold any RC records? Not official. I mean, I've, I've broken world records, you know, from like the Guinness Book of World Records, but uh, but none of my records that I've that I've got are, are official. 
So, you know, like long jump, high jump, speed, off-road. Uh, there isn't one for off-road, actually. Yeah, TRX4M. I probably will get one at some point. Is it dark outside? Yes, it is dark outside. Andy Landy versus Monster Truck Drag Race. The Monster Truck would win easy. Len in the house. How you doing, dude? Len from Michigan. A record most RT spoken in one day. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Four or five, maybe? I don't know. I, I, I try not to take too many out because they all come back broken and you end up with too many to fix. At the moment, I've got... Well, at the start of today, I had 17 broken RC cars. And I'll fix this one. I'll fix the electric one. And I'll fix the Outcast 4S. So, yeah, the list is getting smaller. So I'm trying to get through the list and fix more RC cars than what I'm breaking at the minute. Normally, they are, normally all the RC cars are good. I like to put them back on the shelf, all working. <clears throat> Yesterday I got the sledge working again. You should build a full scale X Max. There is a full size uh, monster truck with an X Max body. Did you get a red or clear body for the C10 Farmer Raminator yet? No, I haven't yet. I will do though. I will do. Are we going to paint up a clear body and make it look like the real one? Really buying Tessa Jato 3.3? Yes, I want to. I'm really sort of into my nitros at the minute, actually. Noah's off. See you later, dude. Yeah, I'm going to do the off in a sec. Ria Steer Andy. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe when we do a project on him. I've got some plans for Andy. Uh, I need to get the property first. I've got no room here to do it. So I've got two ideas, what to, well, three ideas what to do with Andy. So idea one is kind of leave him how he is and put like an extreme suspension kit on it so you get loads of suspension for X, ex external roll cage and pretty much job done, leave it like that. Uh, option two is a Cummings diesel engine and Unimog portal axles and just make it big, heavy, Loads of ground clearance, big tyres, and and just have it like that. Or put like American sort of like mud truck axles on it. Big thousand horsepower V8 engine, rear wheel steering, and sort of like desert truck suspension so you can jump it like really high and still keep it road legal somehow. So they're the three options for Andy. Uh, uh, I don't want to keep it too standard. So it's either going to be the Cummings route with the portals or sort of like rock bouncer or, or mud truck axles and big big stinking V8 engine. You should get RC Andy the Landy replica. Well, I, I want to, but I need a van body and I don't know anybody that makes a van body. They're all the station wagon with the windows. <laughs> Matthew needs to bog. <laughs> Have fun, dude. What site can I get an X Max? Lots of sites, dude. Just type it in. Redfin models in UK, Real Spin, Model Sport, America, you got A Main. Well, do you think you will get Hurricane STO? No, they rung me up when they released it and they said, Do I want one? And I was tempted, but it's got the same engine as mine, same power, and it's only rear wheel drive, and I'd probably kill myself in something rear wheel drive. So if it had been four wheel drive and more horsepower, I would have definitely traded mine in and got one. But I, I want four wheel drive and yeah, and I want more power. So all the extra money would have costed. And it's a slower car. It's not as fast top end. 
it's not as fast accelerating. So in a way, it was kind of like a downgrade for those more money. I mean, it looks cooler, but I wouldn't change the car just because it looks cooler. It cup looks normal size than laminate. Yeah, this cup is four times the size of a normal cup. When I fill up the kettle, I've got to put it onto the four cup mark. I think in here goes over a litre, over a litre goes in there. Probably about two pints. What is a good steering side of one tenth carnage, 2S or 3S? I'll probably go for a JX Eco boost for that one. I mean, I'm liking the perfect pass servos at the minute, but it's probably a bit overkill for something that small and light. What do you think of wheel spin models? I haven't really used them that much. I normally use like Redfin or Model Sport. Thank you for all the HBI Savage content. Love it. Yeah, I'm definitely a Savage fanboy. I love my Savages. They've been like the best basher. You know, I'd say until the X Max came out, the Savage was the best basher out there, better than anything else. But X Max came along, took the crown for the best basher, I would say, in my opinion. But when it comes to Nitro, I'd still say, I'd still say that definitely, I'd say the, the HBR Savage is still the best. Lewis in the house. How you doing, Lewis? When are you going to come up playing RC next? Or racing? Or bashing? Or sausage running. <laughs> when is next video? A uh, couple of days, probably. Uh, someone says wheel spin models are great. Yeah, I've heard good stuff about wheel spin. I've used them a couple of times. Oh, Javi said he's struggling to justify the extra money for the X Max over the Max. Uh, I'd say definitely go for the X Max. I'll say the only reason I'd get the Max is if you really, if, you know, if you want to run it in your garden and you've only got a small space, get the Max. Uh, or, if, or, or, or if you haven't got a car and you've got to carry it where you've got to go, maybe. So uh, no, I'd, I'd say I'd say get the X Max. Definitely worth the extra. X Max or XRT, both up for X Max, but you know, both just as good. If you want stability, get the XRT. If you want the clumsiness of a monster truck, get the X Max. Do you think you will get an event in the door SVJ? Uh, if I get another Lambo, then that would be the one that I would get. Uh, I, I really want one, but I've got other priorities. I'd rather build another monster truck. I'd rather, I'd rather get a new property with, with land and stuff. So, I, I, you know. If money wasn't it wasn't an issue, I'd definitely get one. But uh, I'm not rich enough, so I can just buy anything I want. <laughs> Got a long way to go for that. And the other thing is, you buy these things. It's fun for a couple of weeks. Not that you wears off, and then you're back to normal. It doesn't make you any happier. All this materialistic stuff. I mean, stuff where you can go and do things and events and things. You know, if it's your, like your passion, for example, like the monster truck. You know, I know it's materialistic. But, you know, you get your friends together, you work on it, you take it to shows and events, I get to meet you guys and all that stuff. So it's more about what you do with it rather than, like, the possession. Whilst when you've got a Lambo, I mean, you know, I know for some people it's like their dream to have a Lambo and it, make it their life and they go to all the events and all the cruises and all that stuff. And then it's probably good. But if you just get it and use it a couple of times and it just sits around... Um, uh. Full-size RC Monster Truck, yeah. When I get my land, that's what I want to do. Poor video anyway. I'm not going to leave it like that, but just for a silly video. 100 mile an hour Nitro RC. Oh, that is a challenge. Hobbies are good for the soul. Yes, absolutely. But, you know, I mean, you don't need something as expensive as a Raminator. You can have just as much fun with, like, the, the MT-10, you know, really. Do you have a favourite Monster Jam truck? I like Son of a Digger. I sort of, sort of modelled my truck a little bit on it, you know, like the wider stance, running a bit lower, so. Best servo for e-revo 2.0? I would say definitely give it single servo conversion 
And at the minute, I like the perfect pass servos at Mass Sales. So far, you know, I've killed one so far, those servos, but my God, that took such a hiding. I think it would have killed anything. How's the, how's the UDR doing? Any plans? The UDR's just sat there at the minute. I haven't really got any plans for it. I mean, it can run AS, and I've never run it on AS. I haven't got any batteries that fit in there for AS. Put a small jet engine on an RC. Yeah, we, we spoke about that earlier. So I want to get a jet turbine plane. Might build it over the winter. Then go and fly it, and I'm probably guaranteed to crash it, and then put the engine into like an infraction or something. 100 mile an hour, Kyo Show Mini Z. Oh my God. That... Oof, that would, I don't know, maybe be impossible. Did you kill the Raz Servo? Yeah, I killed one Raz Servo so far. When, that video where I've done the sledge jump, and it landed on that railing from like 40 foot up, it killed it. It like, it, it bent the bottom of the case, and it bent the Servo. I mean, that, that was just a nasty landing, just like solid on metal, on a solid metal chassis. I mean, I've, I've still not found a Servo that survives bashing on concrete with a metal chassis RC car, they all, they, it just kills the electrics. I mean, the amount of abuse you're putting all that stuff through in there, I've not found a servo that can take it yet. They all eventually give up, so. Same as anything in RC, everything's eventually going to break, nothing's indestructible, everything goes. You know, even all these aftermarket chassis, they all bend in the end. How many ESCs have you burned? Oh, I don't actually know. Uh, Fire-wise, I've done, I think, three XLX2s. I've done the Hobby Wing Max 4. Uh, I've had loads go up in smoke, but I think Fire was only them ones. <laughs> then go, that landing was epic, felt it all the way in the US, yeah. That was awful landing. That must have been at least 40 foot up in the air. The video doesn't do it justice. When we was there, that was like, whoa, that was up there. And landed straight, metal chassis, straight onto metal, la metal landing, uh, metal railing. Evil landing. It was just nasty. I'm surprised there's anything left of the whole car, actually. I, you know, I thought the whole thing would have just been done. When will you see Raz again? Probably next Rossa. Okay, have we ever raised a limited edition car show cards? Yes, in the summer. Or, yeah, at least when it gets a little bit nicer. I like when you hook up with Claire and Stempy. Well, yeah, we have to get them out again on the boats, won't we? When the weather gets a bit nicer. Which is your third favourite RC car? Well, one and two is tied with Raminator and x Max. so I'd say my third favourite would be the Infraction. How do you deal with bullies and people hating on you? Ah, you just ignore them, didn't you? Best response to a hater is no response at all. I mean, I'll take it as a compliment, because if someone watches my videos and then gets so annoyed and then tries to find out everything they can about me and then go online and try and, and, try and leave a mean comment, I mean, I just see it as a sign of affection. I mean, you know, if I was a nobody, they wouldn't, have say, they wouldn't say anything. It's only when you start gaining followers and subscribers, that, that's when all the haters come out. So I see it as a compliment. But it's not worth giving them any time. Back in the early days, I used to annoy them more, really wind them up, so that they'd talk about me more on social media, and then they got my name out there. So that's probably how my channel grew as quick as it did in the early days. Two reasons, I was going really hard on RCs when nobody else really was. Second reason was, was just annoying haters, and all the haters go online and talk about me everywhere. So, you know, I, I don't recommend you do it do, You do it because you might upset the wrong hater one day and then they might, I don't know, come and find you and burn your place down or something. Who knows? So I don't recommend it. I don't really do it anymore. So it's best, best is just to ignore them. They're, they're only mad at you because they do less than you. You know, the thing is with a hater is they've got massive ambition, but they're too lazy to do it. So... So then rather than to get off a lazy ass and, and make it happen, it's easy just to hate on other people. So, you know, their problem, isn't it, really? Do you make money driving a monster truck? Uh, you can. 
Lewis, go salt for the haters. Yeah, give the haters a bit of salt. Jealousy makes people crazy. Yeah, jealousy is a silly thing. I mean, there's always someone that's going to be doing better than what you're doing, always. No matter what level you get to, unless you're like at number one with Elon Musk, and there's probably people higher than him, all the people that own the banks. Um, there's always going to be someone that's doing better. And if you're going to get jealous about them, you're just going to live your whole life just being jealous. So it's just pointless. You're better off looking at people doing better than you and just be inspired by them and learn something from them and try and use that info to try and better your own life. But just to get jealous and start hating on people doing better than you, you're just going to live a miserable, miserable existence. You're just going to just constantly hate everyone because, you know, most people are going to be doing better than you, aren't they? Or, or a lot of people are. Your opinion on Armour Centre? Yeah, good. Really good car. Where's the UDR? UDR is up there. How did you start your own channel looking forward to doing my own? Well, my first video was driving in my X-Max outside. And then I've done a few more X-Max videos. And then what got me noticed was completely abusing the X-Max and just like destroying it in every video. That's what got me noticed. Um, then I got a lot of haters on board saying, how dare he destroy an X-Max? And then that got me even more noticed. <laughs> But nowadays, the whole destroying RC car thing doesn't really work anymore because everyone does it now. So, you know, when, when I take an RC car out and, and wreck it, they probably do the worst, those sort of videos. Because everyone does it now. There's nothing, there's nothing special anymore about taking an X-Max and sending it 50 foot to the moon. There's already like 100 videos or, or more, like thousands of videos online of X-Maxes going 40 foot in the air and, and breaking when they land. Uh, it's not... It's not nothing that special watching anymore. You know, you put it in the thumbnail, X Max 50 foot to the moon. No one cares. It's done. Been and done. <laughs> Someone goes, Are you rich? No, I wouldn't consider myself rich. I mean, compared to how I was when I had my 9 to 5 job, but compared to where I want to be, no. What other passions do you have? So I love RC, monster trucks, Land Rovers, fast cars. So, you know, anything car related, really, you know, anything, any car that's not normal, really, I like normally. Is YouTube a good job? If you enjoy it, yes, I love it. I love it all. I love chatting with you guys. I love editing. I love filming. I love all of it. I just, I really feel blessed that I could turn, like, one of my best hobbies, the RC, is into a job. So, yeah, I mean, you know, YouTube doesn't work for everybody. Most people, uh, they... You know, they put videos up and it never really goes anywhere for years and years and years. But, you know, you never know when it takes off or if it takes off. For most people, they never really get anywhere. But for those that are dedicated, it can be amazing. You know, Mr. Beast, he's got like one of the best channels on the whole platform. It took Mr. Beast eight years to make really any money. All his friends and family were telling him, are oh, you wasting your time? Get a job, blah, 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 blah. But Mr. Beast, it was his passion. He just loved making videos. And now look. You know, if he'd listened to those people who told him not to do it. But at the same time, as people have been making YouTube videos for 20 years and still getting no views. So I think with YouTube, it's a lot harder than what people think, Micro Builder, 100%. So I think with YouTube, if you want to do YouTube, do it because you're passionate about it and you enjoy doing it. And then if it goes somewhere, it's worth it. Because, you know, if just just imagine you hate doing it. You, ha you hate editing. You hate filming. You, you just don't like doing it. And the only reason you're doing it is because you're hoping you're going to make loads of money one day. And just imagine you're doing it for like three or four years. You're spending thousands on smashing up RC cars, for example. You've, you've just bought an X-Max, you smashed it up. You bought a Raminator, you smashed it up. You bought an Infraction, you smashed it up. You spent like tens, maybe hundreds of thousands on smashing up all these RCs. And you're not even enjoying it. And then the channel goes nowhere. Well, it was all a waste, wasn't it? So I would say... Definitely enjoy what you're doing, and then that way, if it if it doesn't go anywhere, you, you had fun doing it anyway. You, nothing lost. How much does your monster truck cost? Uh, I don't know exactly, but it's around about two hundred and fifty grand. I mean, I could have built one quicker, but I wanted all the best parts, so it took me a little bit longer. Would you like to have kids? No. <laughs> No, kids annoy me, you know, when they start misbehaving. They're all right when they behave, but no, I don't think I could handle it, all running around shouting and screaming and throwing things and being sick and, and cleaning up all the mess. No. 
No, I will not know. <laughs> Bye, Nicholas. See you later, dude. So you got RT Car Seas has been doing YouTube for 13 years. Don't, don't make much money, but love sharing the hobby. There you go. If you love doing it, it's worth every minute. You know, YouTube's more about just doing it rather than the money. If the money comes, it's a bonus. You know, if you're doing something purely for money, there's so many businesses out there that you're going to make so much more money. Unless, unless you're Mr. Beast, of course, you're going to get insanely rich from YouTube. But for everybody else, if, if your intention is to make money, there's easier ways to make money than YouTube. YouTube's probably one of the hardest. If you want to make, you know, it's, it's easy to make a little bit of money on YouTube. You know, if you want to make like $50, $100 a month, that's relatively easy. But if you want to make like a few thousand a month, that is really, really takes some going. Oh, why did someone time out Lewis? Who timed out Lewis? Lewis is my buddy. Don't time out Lewis. What do you think of Aventador Ultima? Uh, it's not really my cup of tea. I'd get the SVJ if, if I was to get one. <laughs> 10k RC car is way too expensive. Uh, not if you're having fun, dude. And you got to remember as well, you know, these these give me content for the channel. So, you know, it's it's if you look at it in a business way, it's it's worth doing. But, you know, even if you've got the money, if you've got the spare money and you're just doing it for fun, it's still worth doing. You know, it, if it all depends on the individual. You know, if you've got a spare 10 grand and it puts a smile on your face, it's worth every penny. But, you know, to put yourself in debt, nah. Welcome to your cat. Oh, cat's going to be in a video soon. Hey, Steve, can I raise your Lambo? Yeah, man. <laughs> How you doing, hey, S? We're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to finish that armor, armor video soon that me, you, and Vinny are doing. Uh, oh, pardon me. Just built a Mahab V EXB AS. Oh, that'll go well, won't it? Toyan V8 monster truck uh, build in the future. You know what? That is really tempting. I've got the Toyan V8 engine. Maybe we could cram it in something. I can't imagine it having that much horsepower though, so I don't know what to put it into. Yeah, I don't have a spare 10k, so it's too expensive, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't make this I wouldn't skint yourself out over it, you know. If all you got is 10 grand, I definitely wouldn't spend 10 grand on it because you know you could buy like 10 LORC cars and probably be more more viable. MT tens are 345 now. Oh, so they have must have gone up then. Speaking of inflation, it all goes up. Micro V8 into the Raminator. <laughs> yeah, I think all those little V8 engines are really underpowered, so I don't think it'd be that good. I mean, the idea is really cool. I'd love to. XRT versus Sledge. Who's the boss? I'd go XRT because I prefer the bigger, bigger RC cars. Len goes, any plan to race any real cars? Uh, I'll do drag racing, probably. You know, I want to build some fast stuff when I get some more space. I've done about on a circuit, though. Primal RC Grave Digger. Yes, I got it. Turned up yesterday. Or was it today? Can't remember now. It was today or yesterday it turned up. Would I let a monster truck on a drag strip? I think Santa Pod probably would let me. What are you drinking? Uh, this is just cocoa. Uh, so, cocoa is actually really healthy. So, it's got one spoon of cocoa powder, a couple of spoons of coconut uh, powder, and then water up to there, and then the rest milk. So, zero sugar. Tastes really good. Do 
Do you like your Puffermanta? Yeah, I love it, dude. Blue truck is sweet. When will you rip it next? Oh, I don't know. At the minute, I'm on a mission of fixing everything. So I've got so many broken RCs, I'm just working through them all and sorting them all out. So this one's good to go again. What's your cat's name? One's Puggy and the other one's Pocket. And the reason we, I call it Pocket is because when it was a little kitten, I used to just put it in my pocket. He used to just shove it in there and he used to go everywhere with me. He used to go out with a Land Rover off-roading, he used to come out with me. I remember I took it to the shops in Tesco's. And so Tesco's is like a food shop here in the UK. A bit like Walmart, but it's called Tesco's, that sort of thing. And I put it onto the checkout on the conveyor belt. <laughs> and it just sat there, cat just sat there, so chill. It's so chill, this cat pocket. I can drive my RC crawlers over it, it just sits there, I don't care. And I put it on the conveyor belt, I just sat there, just chilling. Then the lady that puts all the stuff through, like scans the barcode, she went to pick it up. She said, oh my God, it's a real one! Ah! <laughs> Hard cars, back with dinner. I'm going in a minute, dude. I'm going to go home and get my own dinner in a minute. Hey, Steve says, hello, everybody. <laughs> You know what, we've got to give A.S. Steve a spanner. Where's A.S. Steve gone? Uh, add moderator. There you go, A.S. Steve. A.S. Steve, you get a spanner. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't have a spanner before. There's another dude. Someone timed out Lewis a minute ago. And I think I didn't recognise the name. So maybe I made someone a moderator by mistake. Care who come to US monster truck show in future? I want to in the future. Okay, we should get a dog. When I get my land, I'll get a couple of Alsatians as security. When do you race the XO1 against the Lambo? I've still got to do it. I haven't done it yet. I mean, we've done the high jump with it and slaughtered it. And um, I've got a chassis to fix it, actually. So that's going to be alive, actually, soon. i will put a new chassis on that. I've just had the chassis turned up. Oh, Lewis timed someone out. Oh, all right, hardcore. I thought it was the other way around. I thought someone timed out Lewis. <laughs> Len says, will we see Talbot RC products? Oh, I don't know. I'm humming and ahhing whether to make RC products. I mean, it's a relatively small niche and all the effort going into making an RC product, you know, would that effort be better off put into something that more people would want, like a ball shaver? <laughs> Do you like Audi RS3? They're not really my sort of cars, but you know, I've never, never been in one, so I don't know. How are you at where you are today? Well, what do you mean, dude? Do I like the workshop I'm in? I mean, I like the workshop. It's just a bit small now, so I need to get a bigger one. Tug of War and Swamp Thing would be good ton content. <laughs> yeah, it'd probably be a laugh. What's the name of your eBay store? I don't show that anymore, Paul. I showed it back in, in the past, I showed my eBay store, and it led to loads of people just copying my listings, like exactly word for word, same photos, same products, and just undercut me on the price. And so, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll learn from my mistake there. Swap your workshop for my kitchen, this is hardcore. <laughs> you got enough space though, you haven't got a monster truck. Nitro infraction. Oh, that would be pretty good, you know, nitro infraction. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, nitro infection. I like the idea of that. All right. I might put that on my list of videos to do. Hey, George says, I love chatting on the stream. Nice one, dude. Thank you for everybody in the stream, by the way. I love chatting to all of you guys. I know I can't get all the comments. And the thing is, I'll try and answer comments that are not too long. Uh, the, the shorter you can leave to comment, the bigger the chance I'm going to answer it, because it goes past so quick. And also, I'm trying to answer comments that I've not already answered, because I don't want to bore people with, like, the same comments over and over. So I'll try and, I'll try and answer, like, a fresh comment on, you know, to a comment that's already been out there. I do you like SVJ? I've already answered that. But yes, I love it. <laughs> I love it, dude. I know some people just joined the stream and they ask the same again. But you know, a lot of people they've sort of they sort of come right from the start of the stream. I don't want to bore them. Doesn't Vaz have a nitro infection? Oh, Vaz done it with a limitless. He done it rear wheel drive, didn't he? Yeah, I think I'll do it to an infraction, have it still four wheel drive. I'm the reason I, uh, that Southern Exiles got three TRX4s. <laughs> well, if you're having fun, dude, it's worth it. Hardcore's all about outdrive sleeves and RPM hinge pins, most important. Yep, definitely on the X Max. I'd say steel gears as well, so like GPM spur and pinion or something like that. It doesn't really matter what make spur gear you put on there, as long as it's one of the steel ones and not one of the monkey metal ones. Basically, any spur gear other than the Traxxas one, you'll be all right. And also, oh, on, this, on the RPM hinge pins, I've seen a lot of people bend them. I've got the Send ones in two of my X Maxes, and I've got the M2C ones in another one. And so far, none of those have bent. What uh, what do you men one fifth MCD cars? What do I think about them? I think he's meaning to say I've never used one. I've seen them, and they look epic. They look really good. I've never said I've never used one. Boat with so no right engine. Mm, maybe. I've just ordered a new boat. I've got the is it gecko or something coming? Any of you guys got a gecko or seen it go? I mean it looked pretty good, so I ordered it. But it's out of stock, so it's on back order. So have any of you guys got a gecko? What's it like? A lot of you guys going on about the Kraken thing. Yeah, maybe one day. Do you ever use any RC forums? Uh, not really. I mean, a lot of haters go on there. They seem to be quite toxic. You know, so I tend to keep out of those places. Same as all the Facebook groups. I've left all of them, really. I mean, I'm in a couple of the speed running groups. Uh, but there's so much, so many toxic people in there. Uh, it's just, it's just, you know, I, I choose to not hang around toxic people in real life and online. That's why, you know, on, on this channel and on my main channel, if I see any hate comments and people that are really overly negative, I just block them. I don't, I don't want to see it. I don't want you guys seeing it. I want it to be a nice, fun place for everyone. I've got no time or space for negativity and, and nastiness. So I'll, I'll choose to stay away from places like that. That's it. Toxic people are everywhere. Yeah, you just got to try and limit it, dude. If you hang around with toxic people, you become toxic yourself. So, you know, you, you're like, you're like a, a net result of the people that you kind of hang around with. So if most of the people in your group are toxic, guess what? you end up toxic. So... Online and offline, I, I, I try and limit toxic people as much as I possibly can. I just, you know, if I, if I come up to toxic people in real life, just walk away. I don't have nothing to do with them. Were you good at school? No, I sucked. I was awful at everything. I was alright in maths. I was pretty good in maths. Uh, science, I was pretty good. Technology, I was pretty good. Everything else, I sucked. English, I sucked. I can't spell. I think. Well, I think I'm dyslexic, but the teacher said that I'm not dyslexic, but I still can't spell. When I'm typing something on the computer, every second word spell checker comes up. You should get a stunt drone. I've got one. I just haven't used it yet. New drift video with MST. Yeah, soon, dude. I was chatting with Vinny about it earlier. So, yeah, soon. Enough waffle. Let's bake some stuff. I'm going to go over and get some food in a minute. Just having a little waffle with you guys. 
finishing my cocoa drink. Same as me, I think I'm dyslexic. You know, there's nothing, you know, it's annoying being dyslexic, but definitely, 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 100% do not use it to hold you back in life. A lot of people use all these things as an excuse of why they, they, they you know, they're not going after their dreams. But, you know, everyone's different. Everyone's got strengths and weaknesses. You can't judge the ability of a fish uh, of how well it can climb a tree. So everyone's unique. Everyone's different. You, you just got to find what you're good at and then uh, and then double down on that. So, you know, look at Richard Branson. He's like a billionaire and he's dys dyslexic. So, you know, there's some dude that's got, like, living in, he's in one of these lung, mechanical lung things. And... His whole body's in there. I think his lungs don't work. It's his old machine. It's like from the 60s or 50s or something. He's in this big machine thing with his head just sticking out of it. And I think the pressure changes inside this vacuum thing. I think it's called a mechanical lung or something. And that's how he breathes. And he's got a computer. So he lays there like this. He's got the computer keyboard next to his head. He's got a stick that he's, that he's holding onto with his mouth. And he's typing on the keyboard with his stick hanging out of his mouth. And he's got a super successful business just doing that. So there's there's no excuse really if you want to be successful at something. You've just got to find what you're good at and then double down. Iron lung, that's it, hardcore RC. The iron lung. Type that in. If any of you guys are not going after your dreams and you're using any illness or, or disability or something that you're bad at as an excuse, go type in iron lung. It's a dude, an old dude, his yellow chamber thing, with his head sticking out of it. You watch that video, and then you'll see you, you most of you guys have got no excuse. You just you're just being lazy. You know, obviously some people they just can't do it at all. You know, but you know, if you're if you're good enough that you can come online here and you can chat in the comments, you, you're you're good enough to go after your dreams. Don't don't let any of those things that take power away from you, don't let any of that don't use any of that as an excuse of why you're not going after your dreams. You can you can do it. You just got to find a way. And I see often people say, "Oh, you got a Lambo, you got a monster truck, you know, it's all right for you." And I was like, "But I was broke, you know. I think eight years ago, I was in like thirty or forty grand of debt. I've no money, no income, no nothing, and I'm dyslexic. I suck at most things at school." And I just kept trying things and trying things and trying things until something something works. And then you just give all your energy onto that. So any of you guys got a dream, ambitions, you go for it. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it. You've got hopes and dreams, go after it. Just find a way. You've got to find a way. You only live once, just make the most of it. What inspires you and your affordability for all these cars? What inspires me? Uh, don't know. I, mean, I, I enjoy my job. I enjoy working. I enjoy doing eBay. I enjoy YouTube even more. YouTube's like really a passion. And you know, when I see other people have sort of achieved good things in life, then I kind of get inspired by that. Where you know, where the lazy person would maybe hate on someone that's doing well, I'd I would rather look at that person and sort of think, wow, what have they done? Especially when it's someone that's come from zero. He's come from ground zero, he's come from no, no money at all, and he finds a way of, of making his dreams come true, and just, you know, goes through life with massive success. I admire those sort of people. I, I look at them, I try and get ideas, I try and learn things. And I've actually found out that the successful people, they've got, these, they've got different traits and different habits to like, what, the 99% of the people have that have like say nine to five job because like the system, it teaches you to go to school, get good grades, go and get a job, get married, have kids, and then work until you're old, and then retire, and then die. So that's how the system kind of teaches you. So if your whole life you're brought up with just being fed all that info, all your friends, all your family, and, and the system, and everyone is just programming you that that's what you have to do, it's difficult to escape that and to get out of it. But if you start talking to people that have like achieved great things, like you know, if you start talking to mil millionaires and stuff, you know, I'd, I'd try and go out my way and talk to wealthy people, and you know, not to get ideas, but just to see how they handle themselves. You know, they they, they talk differently, they walk differently, they behave differently, they got a different attitude to like most things in life, and eventually, 
it kind of rubs off on you and some of these traits start, you know, you start changing your ways. And then you start noticing that, you know, before when you tried business ideas and things, it doesn't work. As you start learning like new traits and new habits and things, you start finding that when you, when you try these little business ideas, they start working more and more and more. Be the gear, not the cog, yes. My car clicks in reverse, change gear, mess, still there, oh. When that happens to me, if I get a funny noise with an RC car, I'll just keep going until it, until it just stops going, <laughs> and then it's quite easy to find what's wrong with it. I've had an X Max before that was clicking. I took it apart so many times, and it's just like nothing looks wrong with it. It's just like what? What's clicking? So then I just took it out, went mad with it, just just like completely slaughtered it until it wouldn't drive anymore, and then it was easy. It was a different turtles. <laughs> Yeah, that's, I know some of you guys in the comments when uh, when um, I go on about, you know, motivational stuff and things and starting your own business and and things like that. Some of you guys get mad, but, you know, if it helps one person, it's worth it. You know, I, I remember when I had my, my crappy jobs, I, I had so many crappy jobs and I hated my life. I used to wake up in the morning and just think, no, again, I've got to go to some sweatshop and in, in a factory and just... I just weld up all these hundreds and thousands of junk and, and take crap from the boss on my like, minimum wage and oh, I hated it, I hated it. I used to question what is the point of existing? Why live? I was like, permanently depressed. It's like, why am I alive? I'm just doing all this crap for what? It's uh, you know, a little bit of hard work for a few years but, and then you get a whole better life out of it, I think it's worth it, well worth it. You know, some people love love their work, what they do, so it's great, keep doing it, but, you know, those people that hate their job, you know, find a better job, or, or try and find something that you can work for yourself. Hey, Rowan, Rowan is the biggest fan. <laughs> Hello, Rowan, how you doing? Hope you're having a good day, buddy. Can you please get FMS Smasher? Ah, uh, I'm not really a fan of it. I love portal axles, but monster trucks are not supposed to have portal axles. And so, you know, to me, when I get an RC monster truck, it's got to be quite scale and realistic. Fly Hard Productions is a long time fan. Hey, thanks, dude. What electrics would you recommend in Typhoon 3? Yes, stock. If you want to make it faster, you can put like a castle system in it. That'll go crazy fast then. If you want it more reliable, maybe Hobby Wing. But a stock system's pretty good anyway. Unless it's broken, I wouldn't see any, you know, wouldn't really see any need to change it. Love from India. Hello, dude. Even though I'm not even going to try and say your name because I'll butcher it. That's all right, Sean. Do you know what? I get so many messages on Instagram and Facebook and, and other places that I can't even read them all. And I get so many comments with people saying, oh, can you wish my son happy birthday? Can you do this? Can you do that? Can you send him a letter? Uh, I get hundreds a day and it's impossible to keep up. So I always just say, just come online. You know, if it's your son's birthday, just say it in the comments. If I see it, I'll try and, I'll try and say it. Oh, nice. Hoven says, my son Alex is going to his first Monster Jam. Oh, dude, he'll love it. I'm sure he'll love it. When I went to my first Monster Jam show, that's when I decided to build my own. A few, a few years later, <laughs> there it is. Thoughts on MT-10 V2? I believe it's the same as the version 1. So I'm going to say absolutely epic. But if you've got a version 1, I wouldn't bother upgrading because I think they're the same. But if you haven't got one, then just buy whichever one you like. I think it's just a different body, I think. Different body colour. Have you owned any FTX products? Yes, I've got an FTX Nitro Drift car down there. Will the Sentin go to the moon? Yes, very well. My Sentin's gone to the moon a few times. Uh, so... Soul says, I watched the Iron Lung in the last five minutes. Yeah. I recommend any of you guys, any of you guys that have got big dreams or ambitions and you think that you can't do it, go and watch that. 
And that'll prove to you that you absolutely can do it. If you say to yourself you can't do it, then you're right, you can't do it. So, you know, you've got to say to yourself, you know, if someone else can do it, so can I. And then just go for it. And it might not work straight away. You know, out of every 10 business ideas that you try, probably only one of those is going to work. So you've got to get through nine of them to get to the one that's going to work. So just start. Start, dude. Start doing things. Start trying. If it don't work or you don't like it, move on to something else. Attempt number 10, probably going to work. Might be attempt number 20 or it might be attempt number one. Who knows? But on average, it's about 10. What do you think about Poland? I've never been there, dude, but it does look like a really beautiful country. Make an X-Max crawler. <laughs> oh, I've been crawling with the X-Max. It does quite good, actually. What do you like better, tractors or armor? I like them both, dude. I don't really care about the brand name. I, um, as I spoke about earlier, I, I look at the product. So, you know, for example, at the minute now I've got iPhone because iPhone's got a better camera. But if there's a better Android camera that comes out and it's better for my YouTube videos, I'll get the Android. Uh, same with the RC cars, you know, the HBR Savage was my favorite basher. X-Max come along. No, the X-Max is my favorite basher. When it comes to on-road, uh, Infraction is my favorite one. So I don't, I don't care about the brands. Brands don't mean anything to me. I'll go with the product. Hey, Brett says he loves game over. Way to go. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. I appreciate all of you guys. You guys are awesome. <laughs> 400 and, 432 of you lot watching me sitting here waffling along. Just, just talking nonsense. Will you... Have you or will you ever drive a Tesla? Uh, I haven't driven one. But I may... You know, I want to get one one day. You know, fuel prices going crazy. Uh, I think it'd be pretty cool to have your own solar panels and charge up your own Tesla batteries and then have free motoring. Waffle, waffle. Yeah, we're waffling. Oh, waffle. Oh, it's not, it's not waffle, it's waffle. <laughs> I mean, Americans probably call it waffle. A lot of people don't know what it means, but here in the UK, when you're waffling, you're just blabbering on, just talking. <laughs> what I'm doing now, I'm waffling. Hey, Josh said, wife and I started your eBay course. Hope you're doing good, dude. Hope you're getting on well good. Don't forget to join the Facebook group. There's a lot of people in there, all helping each other out. And if you don't like it in the first 30 days, don't, don't be afraid to ask for a refund. It's absolutely no problem at all. It takes me about 30 seconds. How's your day going? Good, I've been mentioning all day. <coughs> Actually goes ruminate a sausage. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. What channels do you watch on YouTube? I normally mainly watch uh, business type channels. Uh, I watch a bit of monster truck videos. Uh, Whistling Diesel I watch. He's probably one of my favourite channels. V2 Vids is one of my favourite channels, even though he hasn't posted for a while. Uh, I started watching Matt Armstrong, actually. My mate uh, from the racing club. He sort of put me onto him, so I started watching a few of his videos. He's pretty good. Where's the sledge? The sledge is over there, all repaired. Right, let me show you. Then I'm going to let you go. I'm going to go over and get some food. I'm getting hungry. So, sledge, all back in action again. Got a brand new M2C chassis on there. We repaired all the other parts. So, oh, and we made an AS look. Got a Mac 6 in there. So we're going to give this a speed run soon. XRT, I'm going to work on in a minute. So we've got some, I've got some, oh, I've got some, where is it? Where is it? I've got some prototype bell cranks from M2C. I don't know where I'll put them now. Where are they? Oh, here it is. So I've got these prototype bell cranks from M2C. They've got these, these new... I forgot what they called it, like heavy duty M2C plastic. And they're experimenting with different hardnesses to get the perfect ones. These are the prototype ones. And I think these were a little bit too hard because a couple of a couple of people that have been testing these have broken the uh, have broken them already. So they're gonna do a softer version. So once once they've got the perfect sort of mix of plastic softness, whatever you call it, 
then you guys are going to be able to buy them. But I'm going to chuck them in there anyway because these are the only ones that I've got. Uh, so that that will be done soon. I'm going to do this soon with the El Camino body. What else is broken? We've got a whole list of broken cards on the list in there. But right, we're working through them. We're getting there. This needs a new diff in the front and upper bulkhead. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that, yeah, I've ordered all the parts for this. This is Max's fault when he tried the front one to fall. So I've ordered the parts for that, but none of them were in stock. So once we get the parts for that, I'll be fixing it. This, the engine's sort of cutting out, and I don't know why. So I'm gonna have to have a look at that. I don't know if there's a leak in the tank, or engine's gone out of tune, or the carbs can't gone loose. God knows what's up with that, but something's up with it. Oh, uh, what else we got? What else we got? I've got a Bigfoot Customs. Um, I don't know what it's called. It's like a little tray that goes underneath the motor. On these cars with a metal chassis, where the motor is only supported on one end, when you do massive jumps, the motor bends, hits the chassis, and it kind of makes the motor egg-shaped and kills it. So this here, he custom makes them. So go onto Bigfoot Customs on Facebook. I've got stickers in there, you'll see who it is. Come on, sticker, move. Oh, what? I'll show you the sticker. Just keep going underneath. There you go. So go, go there on Facebook. And you tell him what size you tell him what size you need. Oh yeah, Cletus McFarland, I watch him, he's good. Uh, so you tell him what size you need making, you tell him like the radius of the motor, you tell him the length of it and the width of it and how high you want this bit to be here, and you'll make these any size you like. And you wedge that underneath your motor and it saves them like loads. I used to kill so many motors since I've been using these. They I don't think I've killed any actually. Happy days. So this one needs I can't remember exactly what, a standoff and a drive shaft, I think. Uh, that one needs a whole power system. I let Jake Billing have a go on that one and he sort of slaughtered it a little bit. So that needs a little bit of TLC. And Jake Billing, I think we're gonna bash, for, I'm gonna bash for him again soon. Been chatting to him on Facebook, he wants to meet up again. So we'll, we'll be doing that soon. That was one of the best days ever that was, really enjoyed it. That, I'm probably not gonna bother fixing, I'm just gonna leave it there. Because the minute you fix it and then you fart next to it, it's broken again. <laughs> so that is actually probably the weakest RC car that I've ever used. So I'm just going to leave it there like that, just because it's a representation of, of how bad it is. Which is funny because this is like the best one for the price, I'd say. And that's not one of the worst. Uh, yeah, and that. we got that video coming out with them too. Right, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you. I will see you... I'll probably see you a bit more often over the next few days because I've got quite a few RCs to fix. Oh, and the, and the uh, X01, I've got to do that one, chassis on that one. Right, guys, laters. I'm going to head over later on. I'm going to get some food, get showered up, and then I'm going to go on to Claire's, Claire's RC's channel and have a little waffle with some of you guys on there. So maybe in an hour, if they're still live on there, I'll head over and have a little waffle with some of you guys on there. Right guys, take it easy.